How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Hollywood Sports. Again, I want to say I really appreciate it um, that you took the time out of your schedule to click on my video. I really appreciate it. But right now, I'm getting ready to bring you Madden 25's All Madden 25 Team. And here is the offense. When you had a weapon like Shane Leckler to, to really pin a guy deep, you use that weapon. And if I have a guy like Shane Leckler, I'm going to punt the ball and I'm going to blast it downfield. Shane Leckler had that 99 kick powers. You know, he's a field position weapon. Shane Leckler is one of the best punters that the game's ever seen. And Adam Vinatieri is, is obviously the, in my opinion, one of the most accurate and clutch kickers in history of the NFL. You knew you were money with Vinatieri. Like, you knew he wasn't missing, and having that confidence when the game's on the line, that's something that only he could give you. Couldn't really kick a bad kick with him, and he had ice in his veins, and he just wasn't going to miss it at the end of the game. He had two Super Bowl winning kicks. The guy's got 99 kick accuracy in Madden 25, and there's a reason for it. Devin Hester has incredibly high uh, rating. I think the 100 speed is pretty much all you need to say. This guy separates himself from even the most elite athletes. The guy can fly, he's got great agility, he's got great speed, he's got great moves, and he's got great vision. Well, I don't know why you would ever kick him in, in a video game or a real life. I mean, he was just so dominant. He's the ultimate guy in mean, kick moves and punts or anything like that because it's just, you can't catch him. Playing with him was fantastic. He felt like every time you could. you give the ball to Mike Allstott, you know he's going to fight so hard to get in that end zone. He's just going to barrel right through everybody. Mike Allstott was an instant goal line touchdown anytime he touched the ball. He was a absolute battering ram in short yardage situations, goal line situations. You called on Mike Allstott to get you that extra yard. And Madden, he was unstoppable. If you ever struggled to score in the red zone, all you had to do was put in Mike Allstott, give him the ball, and he was guaranteed to run over defenders on the way to the end zone. Just watch out. He'll probably run over you talk about someone that can do it all. You want to talk about that? That's Marshall Falk. Falk was a one-man show. It didn't matter. I could have won with any other players on that team. You know, just get him the ball in the flats and tear it up. Marshall Falk was probably the best dual-threat player in that in history. He could catch, he could run, he had good speed, good acceleration. Just literally the best running back in the league. And we gave him a 90 catch rate, which is the highest ever for a running back in Madden. This guy literally could do it all. So 2010, Antonio Gates uh, was the pinnacle of tight ends in the NFL. A combination of, of size and speed is just so difficult to match up against on defense. He's six foot four, 260 pounds, 92 jump, 90 plus catch. It didn't matter where he ran routes from, who was covering him, he was gonna get open. He's just too fast for linebackers to stick to, and then it's a little unnatural for any DB to play him. The ultimate weapon at the tight end position. And it was just so much fun to watch, just him spinning up in the air, going to get these balls. So Brian Finneran in 2004 Madden was unstoppable. Not only could he get up there and catch the balls, but he would hang on to them when he got tackled. Brian Finneran was 6'5", and he had like a 90 rated jump, so he could jump higher than anyone on the field. Every big third down just seemed like, oh, Brian Finneran jumped up, caught a pass, of course. Why wouldn't you catch that? We call it rocket catching because you just jump straight up in the air like you have rockets on your feet. Finneran made it look so good. For Madden 04, he was uh, an unstoppable uh, receiver. Randy Moss, what else is there to say besides spectacular? He was like the first one to really be an extreme vertical threat. Moss had the great speed to go downfield and he had the size to jump up over defenders and catch the ball. So he was the ultimate weapon for a receiver. He's got 100 spectacular catch, 100 jump rating, and he's got 99 speed. That's sick. Madden players are all about lighting up the scoreboard via the pass, and nobody reflects that better with their choice for the All-25 team than Randy Moss.
Monty Dawson was one of the smartest centers to ever play the game. He was also very physical. With Dawson, he just didn't make mistakes in the running game. He's got 95 awareness, 95 run blocking. You just kind of run behind him, and you're going to get you four, five, six yards at a clip. Dermonte Dawson can move very well for a big guy. Hall of Famer Dermonte Dawson is all about run blocking. When he was with Pittsburgh, they had five straight 1,000-yard seasons when he was at center. Ogden, to me, is one of the best offensive linemen to ever play the game. He's in a league of his own. He's probably the best left tackle of all time. Jonathan Ogden was so highly rated for so many years that it just shows that the longevity of a career like that, how good he truly was. He's going to open up lanes for you as the ball carrier to run through. 97 run block, 95 pass block. He's great at both. Jonathan Ogden is definitely one of the best players to ever play. Orlando Pace was a monster pass blocker. He didn't let anybody get to Kurt Warner. Orlando Pace was one of the true stars of Madden NFL. When Orlando Pace came in the league, he went number one overall, and it made it cool again for tackles to go number one. It makes a statement of just how special he was as both an athlete and a blocker. Pace was always there, always protecting. Great combination of run and pass blocking ratings. But what sets Orlando Pace apart is his ability to pancake defenders, throw them on the ground, and give you even more room to run or more room to be protected than a blocker. <laughs>